In the nation's capital, one monument stands tall above the rest in honor of the man who led the nation to freedom. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732, in Westmoreland, Virginia. From an early age, Washington knew that he was largely in charge of his own education. Beginning at the age of 14, he repeatedly copied over an English translation of French maxims called Rules of Civility and Decent Behavior in Company and Conversation. These became his code of personal behavior. The first rule was, every action done in company ought to be with some sign of respect to those that are present. His primary rule for himself was to always treat others well and to always be in firm self-control. A number of stories about Washington highlight his honesty. From the mythic story of chopping down the cherry tree to his clear-eyed assessment of the outcomes of military and political battles, Washington was known by friend and foe alike as someone whose word could be depended upon. Labor to keep alive in your breast that little celestial fire called conscience. On August 17, 1790, George Washington arrived by ship in the harbor of Newport, Rhode Island. The occasion was a celebration. Three months earlier, the Rhode Island State Legislature had become the final state in the Union to ratify the U.S. Constitution. The vote had been close. At issue was the future of religious freedom in the new nation. The Bill of Rights, with its First Amendment guarantee of religious freedom, was being debated in the other states, but its passage was by no means assured. Washington's letter to the Hebrew congregation at Newport, Rhode Island, has become a landmark in the religious history of America and a guide for all democracies. Government of the United States gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance. At the age of 15, George Washington began his career as a surveyor, surveying parties often.